Okay, in this example I want to go over equivalent annual annuity or what we call equivalent annual cost. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to walk you through the homework problem in chapter 8 on page 251. Now when you do your reading through page 241 to 242 on equivalent annual annuity slash equivalent annual cost, it's a way for us to help make comparisons when making decisions between uh, purchasing perhaps two pieces of equipment or, or that is that we have to make a decision between the two pieces of equipment and this is going to be what you'll need to use for your paper in week five I want you to pick something that would interest you whether it's two different cars or two different hot water heaters or do I go with the hot water heater that is instant um, hot water that never has to have it constantly heated which may cost a lot more up front but perhaps it has less uh, cost over the long run so it's to help you make decisions in your personal life and also in business examples too so bottom line we look at explicitly what would be the better choice but also what I want you to do in your paper too is to think about implicitly even though one might be more expensive uh, is it more important do you have that for implicit reasons like I, I, I need to have a nice car you know or I need luxury seats with leather in them and heated seats so um, you know that's going to vary based on your what's important to you and you know I want you to kind of include that in your paper but with the example on page uh, 251 with homework problem we're told that there's two machines the Econo Cool and this Luxury Air and the Econo Cool although cheaper costs three hundred dollars and lasts for a hundred and fifty uh, lasts for five years and the estimated the cost at the end of each time period is hundred and fifty dollars at the end of each year and at that end of the five years you would have to buy a new machine and replace it uh, the luxury air is much more expensive it costs five hundred dollars but has operating cost of a hundred dollars for an eight-year time period and uh, again we would have to replace it at the end of eight years but it's kind of making a comparison well which one's actually the better deal which one's going to be the lower equivalent annual cost and the way we can do that is we need to look at the present value of these costs uh, for the present value of cash flow zero, you know, when you buy the machine for the Econo Cool, is $300. And for the Luxury Air, the present cost at day zero is $500 for the Luxury Air. So what we need to do is we need to discount back all these costs to day zero. What is the present value of all these costs today? And the same thing for the Luxury Air. You know, assuming that I could earn 21% in this account. Uh, I could go out and make those same withdrawal funds out of an account to make these hundred and fifty or hundred dollar payments. So what we're going to use next is we're going to go to the net present value function and go back up to f of x and under financial we're going to find net present value. Let's go down there. I'm going to hit OK. Notice it says that the rate we're going to use the 21 percent that's in the homework problem. The values, I'm just going to click on the values that I've already put in here. So we have negative $150 for the first year, uh, negative $150 for the second, negative $150 for the third, the fourth, negative $150. And finally, in this case, you can just hit tab. It will bring you next down to the next value 5 cell, and I'll click in the negative $150. And when I do that, it tells me that the present value of all the cost in the future is four hundred thirty eight dollars and eighty nine cents so I'm going to hit OK but what I've done down here is I said alright we need to sum up the present value of these costs have negative three hundred and four hundred thirty eight dollars and ninety cents and I get seven hundred thirty eight dollars and eighty nine cents is the present value of the cost well once you know the present value of the cost we can then find a equivalent annual annuity or equivalent annual cost and we're going to use payment function Excel for this so I'm going to go back up to f of x. Under financial, we're going to find payment. Hit OK. The rate is going to be the same interest rate of the 21%. Our number of periods is lasts for five years. And I'm just going to click on the present value of those costs, the negative $738.89. And the future value is going to be zero. But when I hit OK, it now gives me an equivalent annual cost of $252. Now I can make a comparison with the Luxury Air. So you know the Luxury Air costs more. Is it actually cheaper for me to buy the more expensive machine with the lower annual cost that lasts for eight years? So again, we're going to find the present value of all those costs. So go to f of x, 
look for net present value, hit OK. Again, our interest rate is going to be 0.21, and I'm just going to, just for the sake of time, I'm going to put in negative $100 and just kind of tab through that process for eight years. There, fifth, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we find out present value is negative $372.55. I'm going to hit OK there. And when I sum up my present value of the cost to get $872.55, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the payment function again. So go back to f of x. Under financial, we're going to find payment. I'm going to hit OK. Again, my interest rate is for 21%. The number of periods in this case was for eight years, and I'll click in that present value of the $872.55, and I find out that I get $234.20. So when making the comparison, if I've done all my math here correctly, um, yeah, it looks like everything's good. So we got $252.53 from the text and $234.21, so we match up okay. So the luxury air, although more expensive, is the better option to go with because it saves you, you know, about um, not quite twenty dollars, but a little close to twenty dollars in savings. Uh, Think about a payment uh, based on it for each year. So that ends our lesson on equivalent annual annuity. And again, you know, this is something that you'll use. I guess again, I want you to use much more detail when you uh, make your decision to compare some goods. You know, what what goes into these costs? Like you think about a a car, you've got insurance, you've got property taxes, you've got uh, fuel costs, you've got maintenance costs. So if you were to choose to do something like a car, you know, really think about all what all those costs would be and how much would that cost be over that time period. You know, maybe the Ford Taurus will last five years, but maybe the Toyota Camry will last 10 years. So that wraps up our lesson on equivalent annual cost.